I can't stand trees when I hear splendors and the rock. Oh, shall I live just like my dear mama? Everything that we have ever been taught is up for debate, being that we've been taught mostly lies when it comes to where we come from, who we are, what our purpose is, and where we live. Our true history has been changed, rearranged, rewritten, and hidden from us. I wonder who is going to appear on Conspiracy Villain Bingo this time. Perhaps it's the Jews, maybe the Masons. Could this be the Lizard People's big break? Who is hiding the truth? Voodoo priests of Haiti, the Tibetan numerologists of Appalachia, the unsolved mysteries of unsolved mysteries. We hope to bring forth food for thought, intriguing ideas, and even new information for those that have already been researching this topic, including recently uncovered Freemasonic books from Lebanon that seem to support all this. Hooray for the Masons, the true hiders of truth. You must all be very proud of yourselves. Being awake is not all bad. Yes, it's scary at first knowing our government is not our friend. That the world really is run by psychopaths who follow Lucifer. Whoa, what? Wasn't this video about trees? Do we just take a right turn straight down the rabbit hole? But there is a good side to this knowing too. And that is connecting with like-kind people who want to help change the world for the better. People like ODD, Cracker, and now our new friend Shadi. The guides to all enlightenment are named Odd, Cracker, and Shadi. Well, truth be told, I guess I'm not someone that can complain about having a weird name on YouTube. In getting to know Shadi, I discovered that his first name is Arabic for singer, which reminds me of Jacob in Jacob's Ladder. God. His name was Jacob Singer. Jacob was a Christ character in that movie. Singer, as in messenger. And I can't help to make the connection to our friend ODD, literally being a singer of truth, with his raps exposing the ball lie and everything else regarding the New World Order. So YouTuber ODD and this shoddy dude from Lebanon are actually Jesus because Tim Robbins made a movie in the 90s. Therefore, the earth is flat and mountains are trees. Okay, I'm following. Please continue. That was so terrible, I think you gave me cancer. Do we truly pick our names? Or are we given our names? We are given our names by our parents at birth, dumbass. And yes, like Jacob here, exposing 9-11, Shadi and ODD are here to also expose the ones behind 9-11. I can't forget that dream. No, 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 no. I can't forget that dream. Now we can't do a series called Ancient Tree Research Project without discussing the giant cedars of Lebanon. This is the one place on Earth that is known for its giant trees. What? How, how the fuck can you make that claim? Not five minutes prior, in this very video, ODD was going on and on about the redwood forests in California. The fuck is wrong with you people? You can't even keep your own shit straight in your own video. Now let's locate Lebanon geographically so we get a feel for the land. And just over the waters of the Mediterranean, the island nation of Cyprus. Notice Cyprus, the neighboring island country to Lebanon, could indicate Cyprus as in the tree. And Cyprus has fragrant wood just as a cedar tree does. The etymology of the nation of Cyprus's name is unknown. Most scholars seem to associate the name with the copper produced by the island in ancient times. The island of Cyprus does indeed grow Mediterranean cypress trees natively. So these trees could have played a part in the name of the island it is unknown. Cedar trees are part of the cypress family of conifers or pines, also indicating a connection to the pineal gland. This is true. The pineal gland gets its name from its shape being similar to a pine cone. Could cypress actually be an ancient giant cypress stump that is sticking up out of the water as an island? No! 
Now Lebanon has a unique flag. There is a giant cedar on the Lebanese flag. A giant cedar of life. What you talking about, Willis? Cedar, C-E-D-A-R, is phonetically the same as cedar, S-E-E-D-E-R. And what is the giant cedar of life? The tree of life. Is this giant cedar symbolic of the tree of life in the center of our world? Does this imply a connection to the tree at the center with the giant cedars of Lebanon? I would say absolutely. This shit is going off the rails really fast. Somehow a flag is now proof of a giant tree in the middle of our earth. How are you making these absurd connections? Where is your logic? That flag design is a little over 100 years old. Hardly a central symbol of Lebanese society. And the tree is green. Green is the color of the heart chakra, Anahata. And the heart is in the center of our chest, just like the tree of life is in the center of our world. Now chakras are part of this lunacy? I thought that the cedars represented the pineal gland, not the heart. Are we dealing with Christ figures and Lucifer from the Christian Bible, the world tree from Norse, or chakras from Hindu? How exactly does a flag tie all this together, and what the fuck does this have to do with rocks being trees? You do remember that was the original point of this video, right? The green chakra could also represent Baalbek, which translates to in your heart. Buckle yourself in. We are about to go on a wild ride here. Bialbik is a town north of Lebanon, just behind the others. It is famous for its giant structure known as the Temple of Jupiter. The cornerstones of the earlier temple have been found to weigh over 100 tons, and the retaining wall monoliths weigh about 300 to 900 tons each. These blocks and the others are known today as the Bialbik stones, and have been the subject of much debate, study and conjecture over how they were moved and arranged. Alexander the Great conquered Baalbek in 334 BCE. He named it Heliopolis, as in the city of the sun. The name still in use in 64 BCE when Pompey the Great annexed the region of Phoenicia for Rome. This was still the designation for the city in 15 BCE, when the city became a colony of the Roman Empire. Alexander the Great was a giant, so was Pompey, which is how they got great in their name. I find myself repeating a couple phrases over and over again. Namely, what the fuck does this have to do with rocks being trees? You know, the thesis of your damn video 